JT, summertime in Madison. It was always my favorite time of the year. Uh, to this day, those were the best summers of my life, working out with your teammates, getting excited for that upcoming football season. A little bit of free time, a little bit more time away. Beautiful weather, a little bit of terrace action. What do you love to do in the summer? In the summertime, I love to get out on the lake when I can. That's a, that's a big thing. Uh, I actually went to Noah's Ark. Really? For the first time okay. my freshman year, and I haven't been back yeah, since, yeah. but it's been a goal of mine yeah. to go this year because it was amazing, like the yeah. largest water park and outdoor water park in America. So that was, I don't think I really truly mm -hmm. experienced uh -huh. it the first time because it was the largest one. It was my first time up there in the summer. So I can't wait to go back this summer to truly get the Noah's Ark experience. So how does a guy like you, one of the most recognizable, famous guys in the entire state, probably one of the most beloved guys in the state up there with Aaron Rodgers and Giannis. Uh, do you get recognized when you go to Noah's Ark? I do, but I think it's I think it's the fans how they respect Badger football. Like they love Badger football, they love Packer football, so they recognize you. But they kind of do it in a respectful way, so it's not a line of people trying to get a picture with you while you're out at Noah's Ark trying to have a good time. That's what I think I love about the fans yeah. is that they love Badger football so much that they respect the players, and that's why I love Badger football so much. I think four days a week, the NCAA lets you guys work out in the summer, so you usually have at least one day off during the week. Uh, what do you like to do during that off day during the summer? Is there one thing that always pops in your mind, man, I can't wait to go do that? One thing in the summer, I always like to go into the float tank. So we have these new uh, float machines in our locker room where it's like, filled with a bunch, it's like a, a small pool filled with a bunch of salt. You can play music if you want, you can change the lighting, and it's just something where you can just lay back and relax. Let go of everything, you don't have to think about anything for about 30 minutes, and then you come out, you actually feel refreshed, like mm. your body feels stress-free, I love it. That's love awesome, it. yeah, we, we did a little bit of that in the NFL, but it was still just kind of new, they're like these big pods, and it just totally gets your mind in a, a great place and the relaxation goes to 100. Um, you talked a little bit about mindfulness and how that's become an important part of your practice and getting ready for a college football season. Can you expand a little bit on, on what that means for you? Yeah, so mindfulness is more something that I do during the week. Wednesdays, our day off is usually the float tank where I can just be stress-free, but during the week, you know, you don't have time to do the float tank, so you need to find another way to kind of lock in and focus in. So uh, it's just about how the mind wanders. So you're focusing on a task, oh, I have to do this homework. And as you're doing the homework, you start thinking about, oh, what am I gonna eat in the next two hours? Or, <laughs> oh, I gotta make sure that I set my clothes mm -hmm. out. So your mind kind of wanders. So mindfulness is just a way to bring your mind back to the center of attention at the task at hand. So you can do things such as a four, five, six breath, which is, Inhale for four, hold for five, and then exhale for six. And that's kind of a way to refocus and recenter your, your uh, focus so that you can get done whatever you need to get done. And I like to do that, especially on the field, mm -hmm. because sometimes on the field, before the snap, Things could be racing, your mind could be racing. You see the defense, linebackers are bossed over. You're like, oh, this is about to hit big. But you know, sometimes you get too excited, <laughs> you start doing things that you weren't trained to do. So it's kind of a way that you can lock in and focus. Mm -hmm.